hey everyone welcome back to the channel so today's video is about how to extend per user flow limits so as uh, flow is in existence for almost four or five years so probably like people have started hitting their limits of per flow numbers for example i have already hit my 600 flows limit in my organization's environment so how to extend how to handle how to keep working or creating flows so for that i'm going to give you that tip so today's video is not a longer one it's just like about quick tip how you can do that still working with the flows so i can go to my flows environment so you can see in my cloud flow shared flows all these like if you are owner of the flow and if you have crossed or reached to a limit of 600 flows then you would not be allowed to create any flows anymore in your flow environment so for that how how what is the work work around for that so you can actually keep on working with flows inside solutions so on the left hand side i can directly go to solutions and you can start building solutions for your organization for your environment and when you create a new solution it will ask you uh, for the display name so you can simply say like your project name or like whatever flow you are creating for and you can simply select a publisher if you wish to so and after creating it you can start creating your flows inside this solution so once you start creating your flows inside the solution it will allow you to create the flows irrespective of like your reach your limit of 600 has already been reached so now like when the solution is created in your environment then you can simply click on new where you, you will be allowed to create apps automation chatbot dashboard so over here you can simply click on cloud flow and instant or scheduled flow so you can pick whatever you wish to the type of workflow and can simply create it so you would be allowed to create the flows even though your limits are hit and you can simply save and run the flow as usual so let me just quickly save it and come back okay so it asks for the next step let me just add once an email action and then save it i'll just add the required fields otherwise it would not allow me to save and i'll just go back to my solution so now if you wish to add any of your existing flows or apps you can also like do that into this uh, existing solution you can just click on add existing and, and go under the automation and click on this cloud flow so you would be given a list of all your flows like uh, which are related to dataverse under this data from dataverse uh, dataverse tab and if it's outside like it's not uh, related to dataverse then it comes under outside data source so you can just pick any of your flow just add it over here it will allow you to do that so that's how like uh, even though the limits are crossed for you but you can still work, work with your power automate so that's a quick tip so not to explain much about it so that's it for today thank you